Um, I usually don't do travel, but I just wanted to do it for this example, just to show you guys that you guys can do it with anything, right? So the first thing is you want to go to the marketplace, you want to pick a category, and then once you pick a category, you want to go ahead and find an offer. Once you find an offer, you're simply going to go ahead and press promote, right? So just to show you what the sales page looks like, this is what the sales page looks like. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and press promote, right? Now 75% um, commissions, and we're going to go ahead and create our ClickBank link. And then we're going to copy this, and then we're going to go ahead and actually add this to a Bitly link. Now, I did this ahead of time for time's sake, right? So here's my actual link that I'm going to be doing for this actual offer right here. The hidden airline loopholes that lets you book a $1,000 flight for $20 or less. Now, guys, just a forewarning. If you guys run uh, Facebook ads and they approve your ad with a direct link, meaning if I was to go ahead and actually use this direct link on my Facebook ad, there's a high possibility that you will get your ad account shut down. So, what I would highly recommend is using something like ClickFunnels. Once you use something like ClickFunnels, you can actually put a capture page, ca capturing emails in front of this page, right? Which is not only going to allow you to um, do email marketing, but number two, it's going to go ahead and lessen your chances of actually getting your advertisement account shut down. Now, do your own research, do your own due diligence, make sure you actually look into um, the Facebook rules, regulations, and guidelines, right? That's not my job to do that for you. You're, you're where everybody's big boys and big girls here, right? Now, once we have our link and we have our offer, next is the actual advert, right? So there's three things that we're gonna do. We're gonna create a campaign, then we're gonna go ahead and create an ad set, and then we're gonna go ahead and create the actual ad, right? So the campaign name is gonna be, I'm just gonna say traffic ad, and then we're gonna put free life. Right, and the next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, do a campaign objective. Is going to be traffic, right? We're going to do auction, and then we're going to go ahead and save to draft, right? So now we have a campaign that is ready to get started. And now that we have the campaign, the next step is the ad set, right? So that's the easiest part. Now we want to go to the ad sets, right? Now it's time to actually create an ad set. Now. People who are interested in cheap flights, what might they be interested in, right? The people who would be interested in this would be people who are interested in flying a lot, right? Now, me personally, I'm a digital nomad, right? So I take a lot of flights. So what I'm going to do, we're not going to give the ad set a name yet. We're going to go ahead and actually edit the ad set, right? Daily budget, you always want to start at five right five dollars per day and the objective guys is to get this in front of a targeted audience right so the ad set name we'll name that after but custom audience right we're not going to do custom audience by the way custom audiences and lookalike audiences are the best type of audiences right but for this example right what are the type of people who actually have money and who actually start traveling people start to travel once they're around i'm going to even say 30 to 65 plus right now i'm not going to pick men or women because i don't have enough data yet so what we're going to do is we're going to target people in the u.s I'm going to target people in um, the top countries, right? So Australia, Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand. Then I'm going to target people in uh, United Kingdom. So these are people who speak English and they have um, buying power, right? Meaning they speak English and they are the richest countries. So they're more, li more likely to actually buy what I'm selling. Next is detail targeting, right? So the detail targeting, I might say digital nomads. I'm a digital nomad. I've taken over 40 flights this this um this year, right? So people who are interested in digital nomad, 4.7 um, people. And then what I might do is narrow down the audience with something like um, travel, frequent travelers. So frequent travelers, right? And then narrow down even further. Anything with flights. Flight, no, um, travelers. We're looking for people who like to travel. Frequent international travelers. Um, travel commute, air travel. Okay, we need to find one more thing. Um, frequent travel, frequent travelers. What are type of people? Digital nomad, frequent travelers. Um, we're gonna find something in travel. We're gonna keep on looking down. Travel photography, 
time travel, travel consultant, uh, travel channel. We're just gonna see if this works. Frequent international travelers. So that um, narrows down my audience to 350,000 people. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, now we're gonna name the audience, right? So we're gonna put um, travelers from 35 to 60, 65 plus. And we're gonna put men and women, right? Now guys, the objective is if your first ad does not work is to target multiple people, right? So we're not gonna save the uh, audience, but we are gonna go ahead and edit placements. And what I wanna do is I want to um, only do feeds. And I don't, I'll do Instagram, but I'm not gonna do Messenger and I'm not gonna do audience networks. So um, we're not gonna get too technical with like uh, mobile devices and everything of that nature. Um, but what we're gonna do is we want to get, um, we want to optimize for link clicks, and then the bid strategy. Uh, there is none, and uh, when you get charged, we want to do cost per click. We don't want to get charged for impressions. Um, and then next is the actual ad. So what I'm gonna do is edit, and I already have what we're gonna do. Um, what I would do guys is for the actual um, For the actual fan page I'll create a related fan page right but for this example I'm not going to and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an image ad and the objective guys Is hold on let me actually upload an image I recently created one and if you guys want to know how to create these images go to canva.com I literally just Pick, swipe this off of Google, and then I have this red arrow, which is basically pointing at this Louis bag, which basically just builds curiosity. People have no idea what the heck it's pointing at, right? But I'll, I'll basically break down the importance of it once I uh, finish actually uh, creating the advert. So next important thing is going to be the actual headline. So we're gonna break this down in a second. So headline, and then text. Uh, where's the text at and then the description description and then URL is going to be this bitly link now guys as stated before I would highly recommend not direct linking um, I would definitely uh, advise you to if you're gonna do this um, if you're gonna do this I would highly recommend Hold on. I would highly recommend putting a capture page in front. Now what I like to do is I like to put emojis on the emoji. So this is the ad guys. Um, I don't know what, okay. So uh, basically let's just break it down. Breaking news. So first and foremost, what is the first thing that people are gonna go ahead and look at when it comes to your advertisement is your actual image, right? So that's why I have the red arrow. That's automatically gonna go ahead and catch people's eye. Um, and then guys, understand that you're gonna be, you're gonna, this is called interruption marketing. So you're really gonna be interrupting people, right? You're gonna be interrupting people who are looking at cats, videos, graduation pictures, all that extra stuff, they're not looking to be sold anything, right? So you have to figure out a way to actually capture their attention. The first thing that people are going to look at before they actually decide to take action on your ad is the image. That's why I have an image that looks like a regular image. It doesn't look like a stock photo, so it looks like it belongs on Facebook. And then number two is the actual arrow. That's a red is always going to go ahead and capture people's eye. And then it's pointing at nothing, right? I know that, but they don't. They're going to be like, what the heck is this, right? So then the next thing that they're gonna go ahead and look at is the headline, right? That's the most important thing right here, which is this is pissing off commercial airlines, right? So if you can go ahead and capture them with your actual image, number one, and then number two, capture them with your actual headline, right? Then you're going to go ahead and get them to actually look at your um, your text, right? So there's, there's steps. So if I look at the image, and this is a bit boring image, I'm gonna scroll past, right? If I look at a, a, an image and then um, the headline doesn't build curiosity or it's a headline that just doesn't make sense like let's just say 
by get get cheap travel get cheap if it says get cheap travel i'm not going to continue to read i'm just going to go i'm going to say okay they're trying to sell me something right but if i see this and then i look at the actual headline i'm going to bet this is pissing off commercial airlines what's pissing off guys negativity sells unfortunately right so the next step that people are going to look at is after they see this they're going to read this part breaking news right controversial controversial that's another kind of negativity curiosity building thing right breaking news controversial loophole allowing middle class to charter thousand a thousand dollars to two thousand dollar flights for as low as twenty dollars right so now they've got my they've captured my attention right then you have a strong call to action so it's very simple it's very it's, it's to trigger people's emotions and to get them to take action now guys believe it or not the objective of the facebook ad is to get as high as a click-through rate as possible and to get clicks as low as possible to your actual sales process the objective is not to do the selling you can do story ads on facebook right but we're not doing that in this example right the objective is to simply get drive clicks and target traffic as cheap as possible and then to get them in front of your actual offer and then if the offer has a very converting sales process that's going to do all the selling for you right so the objective of the facebook ad is to pattern uh, disrupt people meaning to, to, to capture their attention get them to read our headlines then to get them to read our, um, our, our our text and then our strong call to action then they're gonna go ahead and click to learn more right it really doesn't show too much but it, it captured my 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 interest it shows somebody in front of a, a private jet then it says this is pissing people off I want to know what's pissing people off and then it says you can like a, a large promise a thousand to two thousand dollar flights for as low as twenty dollars I'm like okay I gotta see this right then they're gonna go ahead and click learn more then they're gonna go ahead and get access to this right which is my affiliate offer now ask it before guys yes it's gonna go ahead and decrease conversions but you want to go ahead and put a capture page in front of this so that way you can go ahead and actually um, uh, like not direct link an affiliate offer to Facebook because Facebook doesn't like that and number two is when you capture these leads you're gonna be able to do email marketing with these leads. so it's, it's the one-two punch right but um, that's literally how you create a face a, a, a Facebook ad, right? You capture their attention with the image, and then you go ahead and capture their attention with the um, the headline, and then you you drive it home with the actual text and have a strong call to action to get that click. And then the next step would simply be publishing, right? And what most people don't tell you is that there's a 95% chance that this ad, if I was to publish this ad, that it would fail, right? People aren't gonna tell you that. The name of the game, guys, is testing. You wanna test five different images, you wanna test five different ad sets, you wanna test um, five, 